Hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Jobs. We got ourselves a moose and we are bringing to you some Zelda Blade for 2015! Oh! This is the Bonato's power. I'm really peeling it. The Bonato power? <laughs> really? I, I didn't show you the picture of the banana Bonato. Oh, I heard about the banana, oh, okay, but yeah. the, yeah. the banana... The banana... The Bonato, right? The Bonato. <laughs> I thought you said the Bonato, and I was Bonato. thinking, yeah, it's damn near the same thing when you think about it. If you're thinking about, if you're thinking about it like that, then yeah, it's pretty much the damn thing, damn same thing, yeah. And uh, Don Light, like, the fun person to show up in the chat, he's like about feeling left by birds. Uh, no, but I got a bucket of chicken. Let's do this. You know, you never know. There might be birds. I think there are birds. Well, I can't get a bucket of chicken while I'm killing those damn birds. So I'm about to give me a bucket of chicken. Give me some chicken, everybody. Yeah! All right. We're moving on to the next scene. I thought it was you. Nice to see you, Dixon. It's been a while, Grandpa. Orthon is still alive. Left me. Good to see you haven't kicked the bucket. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Wait, Dixon, Dunbar, you're the heroes who risked your lives a year ago in the battle to defend the colony. I really wish Dixon was a playable party member. <laughs> He looked like he got those fashionable pants and belonged belo in the 1970s. Dunban, Dixon. Thanks for helping out back there. I don't believe we did it. So you may laugh, but the, the, that gear apparently Save has gems that, that give him invincibility. Bird. What was that thing? He, he's literally immortal. A mystical beast that well, I guess I need to boogie to uh, get you to stay alive in this land. Strange. A Telephia. So that's what it's called. A mystical beast that protects the Bionis. So, what's your plan from here? Follow that metal-faced machine, I presume. What else? He's gonna pay for what he did to Fiora. Well then, there's only one place he'd go. Galahad Fortress in Sword Valley. A year ago, those things were building a huge fortress, right in the valley. Tactically, it's an excellent location to launch attacks from. I feel there's a strong chance they've now finished building it. That would explain why both colonies were attacked recently. Sword Valley. The very place where we made our last stand one year ago. So it's settled. Back so I have to wonder, if the Mechon can fly now, Easy why do they think that they'd be hanging out at Galahad Fortress? But then, well, the real question is, what the heck is Galahad Fortress? Uh, it's, it's a place on on the sword of the Mechanis. Sword Valley. The beginning of the game, that that well, place. Oh, that Sword Valley. That was uh, yeah. that took place on the Mechanis. Uh, on the Mechanis' sword between the two. Yeah. Oh. So that means once I go to Mechanis, hey, no turning back. The Monado doesn't work on Metal Face at the moment. But if that vision comes true... Well, you'll see what's up with that. Uh -huh. hmm. Doesn't give us much to go on. Can you remember anything else from your vision? I remember... A huge horn. <laughs> huge horn. Metal face. <laughs> I could see the Bionis head. Prison Island. Prison Island? I've never been. But I've heard of a black tower at the head of the Bionis. They say oh, that's right, Prison Island. We gotta go there first. Race. The high end here are real. Hmm. I thought they were a myth. I wouldn't blame you, son. An ancient race living at the top of the Bionis. It does sound crazy. But Bionis is home to all kinds of different people, not just us. That includes the high end here. The high end here, huh? I dismiss them as folklore as well. Never assume anything. Seeing is believing, right? Have you ever met one? Well, yeah. Wow. Dixon, man, you're just full of surprises. What can I say? I'm well-traveled. 
Did you really have to turn around, god damn it, Dixie? You just saw it off your ass now, you little shit. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Ventus. Oh, Donnelly's telling me not to spoil things. I guess I shouldn't spoil things. Eh. Oh, your decision, man. I don't care either way. I realized something when we were fighting Zord. Wherever we go, they'll follow. We can't run from these things. We must fight on. I see. Then I am obliged to join you. You want to come with us? Scared I'll get hurt. No way. We know you're stronger than anything. Right, Ryan? You bet! I've recovered a great deal since we last met. And that miserly old coot over there made me this. Sharp. Light. Perfect for cutting through steel. Show me a mech on and I'll slice it in two. I might not be in peak condition, but I'm useful. I can't thank you enough. We're in it together now. You can count on that's us right, I think Dunban starts with a mech on killing old. weapon, so that's helpful. That sword is forged for a mech on really? armor. It's worth every penny. So you keep saying. If you want to go to the Bionis head, you'll need a guide to get to the upper regions. We're at the bottom, so I guess the only way to go is up. Right, but we'll need to go up the lower back first. The lower back? Colony 6 is... Oh, right you mean the uh, trap up? <laughs> so we'll have to head around the waste. Through a place called Sartol Marsh. Follow me. Uh, the what? Well, he said the lower guy gale in the lower back, right? So uh, oh. <laughs> I uh, I said trap sound. <laughs> well, let's see, battle member. Uh, well then, change party equipment. One, two, three. Hmm. Oh, jobs! You have to play as Dunban. Do it. Play as Dunban. Oh, fine. I'll go ahead and. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and done back. Okay, so I'm running around as a done band. I am dunning my bands. <laughs> Don't get bad. <laughs> okay, um, so before rushing into battle, you want to... Look over some Dunban's art. His art, eh? Okay. Uh, let's check out these arts. Does he even have any points worth spending at the time? Because I wonder. At least the power okay. with it. Let's see. Worldly slash, I think, was good. Uh. These attack names. Holy shit, he's got like 8,000 AP. I can, I can use this. Worldly Slash, combo lowering physical defense. At the Gale Slash, lower strength. Right, so Dunban has some arts that you use after other arts and it works better. So if you do Gale Slash and then Worldly Slash, it does a thing. Man, Dunban is that, that, well. Then I'm uh, I'm impressed already by Dunban's uh, power. Let's see, I think does he have? Yeah, if you use Gale Slash, then uh, Electric Gut Buster, and then whatever the Green Fist thing was, uh, you, you can basically get instant topple with just one character. You mean just this thing? Uh, you can yeah, because you know how Shulk and Ryan have to work together to get topple? Uh-huh. Dunban has all of that. You just have to use his attacks in the right order. And, of course, it takes up some time, so... Yeah. Okay, this inflicts break. That, incl that inflicts uh, topple, right there. It's still strike. You go topple. Well, then...
And yeah, Dunban is great for chain attacks. Hmm. No, what's that? I don't remember if I used that one. Uh, blind, bl blinding blossom, inclusive. Blinding blossom, yeah. Place to draw aggro from a party member to Dunban. Okay, so that could be helpful. Yeah. Cool down, haste, and effect time. Yeah, I gotta level up this shit. He, he got some great skills. Dunman is the best character. <laughs> I am beginning to see why you say he is the great, best character. Like, I never used Ryan. I, I didn't touch Ryan. I think I barely even used Ryan as an AI. Just Dunban all the way. Well then, uh... Which of uh, gaze firmly on an enemy, creating an aura of focus. Look to both the. Uh, all right, that's that's the one that we looks, could. Hmm? That looks pretty good for now. Yeah, yeah, looking pretty nice. Well, let's see. Let's check out everybody else's sites as well. But is everybody got some got at least got some stuff out of it, so not enough AP to do <coughs> boost heal out, so much for that. Wow, I don't have enough A to be. I want that heat bla heat bullet because uh, that that's pretty useful for increasing tension. I always gotta have tension. Tension is very important, everybody. You gotta be, you you have to start feeling it. This is so puts it. Oh, wait. Did not see this heart to heart. Check yeah. the heart to heart list of the menu. Oh, bitch. So, you want to know what you have available? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All of these heart to hearts have requirements for some reason. Alright, so uh, I can go to the Bionis Lay, get the. And this should go hard to hard there, but I don't know what the hell I am. 
I mean, am I like at the Bionic's uh, back? Am I at the back of the knee? I mean, if that's the back of the knee, there's probably a hole somewhere, so I'm gonna have to look for that. <laughs> uh, right, so Bionic's leg is, is the big open field. Oh, right. Came to this place from. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, before you go to see any heart to hearts, though, you should always check your affinity to make sure it's high enough. Because mm. if they don't have the smileys. Well, I saw a smiley. Okay. I, I saw a, I saw a bloody smiley. No, but that's the requirement. That that's the requirement in the heart to heart list. Bomb Nebula? What the hell is that? Actually, I'm not sure if I want to even fight that. I mean, like, but I think about it. It looked. Yeah, I believe it's one of those stupid little, um, floating floating things that. Couldn't be damaged, just like with the water one. He might be able to take it. Nice! Blossom Dance is fantastic. Holy yeah, shit, we killed it! You just wrecked that thing. Dead man, you are awesome! You're a keeper! Yeah. <laughs> now, just a note, you used, um... Electric Gut Buster after uh, which, whichever the one that lowers strength is. Gale Slash, Worldly oh, Slash. Worldly Slash, yeah, you used it after Worldly Slash. You want to use it after Gale Slash. Although I don't think this enemy can be broken. Oh, I thought you had to use uh, Gale Slash first, then Worldly Slash to put the strength down. At least according to uh, how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this is a magic based enemy, so. Yeah. Well, he got bleed. And he's been kind of annihilated. Alright, so I... So I'm knowing that I can just teleport all around the map. Let's just go ahead and explore this upper area along the side of the cliff. If I were to jump, I'd probably just die. So, let's try not to jump today. Oh boy. You're going to both the best and worst area. What do you mean best and worst? So, I really like this area at night. During the day, not so much. Oh. Well, it looks kind of, it looks pretty cool at night. Yeah, this place looks fantastic with the glowing trees and everything. Well, I can just go. Day. It's, just, it's just a marsh. Oh. I'm I'm guessing there's some very dangerous enemies here. Um There's fucking birds here, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall any particularly strong enemies on the main path. I, I wonder I'm just kidding, yes I do. Like uh huh. You see? This is why I've been saying you need to get out of the lab. But I don't think they'll man. attack you. They're, they're the kind that only attack you if you attack them. Radio! 
Well, I'm gonna see if I can kill one first. Never thought about going inside the Bionis. The closer we get to the top, the more monster trouble we're gonna run into. The only things I venture this far in are the Nopon merchants and curious types like me. You really know all the fun spots, eh, Dixon? <laughs> you want to get to the top? Then this is the only way. We'll push on, no matter what. That's the spirit, Shulk. Venter says I'm going to enjoy this area because of the birds. Here's hoping <laughs> I can get myself a bucket of chicken. Well, let's aim for chicken, everybody. Holy! <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, yeah. Man, for a second I thought there was some shit going on. Wait, I'm coupled? Wow. Okay, so, um. What the hell? You're fighting acid upas right now. Do you think you'll find a metal upa? I will destroy you. <laughs> Death for that. Death for that reference. I will destroy you. That 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 shouldn't exist. Oh crap! I I think I missed the tension. I told you, Jobs, you gotta pay attention. Oh, give me a break. I don't even got the that. I just... I didn't think. You got a chain attack ready. Oh yeah, that's right. Stun Ben's talent page, page, gauge there fills up. Try using that. Uh oh. He's about to explode. Yeah, use the chain attack. Just try it. Uh, um, whoa. Let's see. Wait. Use use blinding blossom. Blinding blossom. I have a plan here, right? Yeah. Blinding blossom. On blue one. On shelf right now because he has the aggro. I think this will work. And now. Uh oh. Nope. Well, okay, use, use, uh, I don't know, use Monado Buster. Th this is really kind of overkill, but use Monado Buster. Okay. Yeah. And then, for Sharla, use, uh, any one of her arts works. I don't know, the, I guess Thunderbullet, it deals damage, so why not? And then, oh, it didn't give you, hmm. They didn't give me another set of why. attacks? Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's... That little shit exploded on me. I guess I really gotta look up how these chain attacks work. I thought it was as long as you kept the the going, you'd get more more rounds because sometimes after you get three attacks in, you can go in for a fourth one. I I, I suppose, man. I just thought that maybe at the at that point. Right, but if you use Dunban's talent art at the end of a chain attack, yeah, 
Usually the one who starts it off is the one you're playing it is at the moment. Yeah. Which Whoa. is why you want to get it to loop around back to a fourth one. I don't know how to get it to loop around back to one more time. Uh... Is it the color of the attacks that I use? Hmm. Okay. So apparently the, the frequency of chant acts continuing past the third link has to do with the tension level, the party affinity, skill links, and B button press accuracy. So that, that means that the, the chain number only has to do, or, or the multiplier, I guess, only has to do with the damage. But yeah, the, the trick here with the chant attacks is that uh, you want to use arts of the same color in a row right to increase the damage and the the um the last person to use the chant attack will hopefully be doing the most damage so, ideally, you'd want that to be done, Ben. You'd want it to wrap around from Charlotte back to him. Uh, and you, you can also use Talent Arts as a wild card. Except for Charlotte, unfortunately. Charlotte's kind of an annoying character with Chain Attacks because she has almost exclusively blue arts and her Talent Art cannot be used as a wild card because she basically doesn't have one. Really? <laughs> so that so at that point you I'm guessing it's just what do, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's just a lot of fish. So much fish. So much fish that we're gonna need a bigger boat. Yep. And birds, birds and fish. We just need to take our land and push it somewhere else. Okay, I just got, we just got a whole bunch of treasure. We just wrecked everything. Okay. Whoop. Uh, there's any unique monsters out here. I'm surprised I haven't run into anything yet. I mean, I thought I would have ran into something by now. Oh, well then, um, well, this isn't a unique monster. They just got all of this, right? Something decided that can we be unique for you? I just want to say no. 
did, you, you did make me scream over this. <laughs> Oh no, I've been binded in now, uh, but I have been released. I'm really feeling stressed. It's over. Let's stay alert. Let's press on. Alright. So I'm running into dirty ass water and without a care in the world. And apparently there's an epi in the chat, actually. I just now noticed that there's an epi. We have an epi. Um... OH, BITCH! What? <laughs> oh, it's burned. <laughs> Why do they always come out of nowhere? You can take it, job. Well, thankfully it's not a unique monster, but... Shut of a bitch! <laughs> Last time I had to fight a unique when we fight a bird, they killed me, even though it wasn't a unique monster. Because I couldn't reach it. Thankfully, I'm not fighting on the edge of a cliff, so I don't have to worry too much about, well, that kind of hazard. Um. OH, BITCH! <laughs> I hope you react like this every time you see a bird. <laughs> Damn! Oh, I've been I've been put to sleep. Yeah, I got birds bleeding. I got a bleeding bird. There's a hit that called Pigeon Blood, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I just felt like pointing that out for no particular reason. I just you, felt like pointing sure that out. Yep. <laughs> oh, looks like we got ourselves a deal, bit of a cutscene, eh? Everyone, look. It's a group of Nopon. Ah, some Nopon merchants. What do you think they're up to? They must be here for a reason. Let's go and ask them. Good idea. Did we just level up? We just leveled up for discovering a new area, really? Um, um, oh, come on! <laughs> Actually, some quests here. In the dark of Fancacha, and now was a catcher in the. Oh, Ignis. That sounds like the name of a unique monster.
buckles and get this to catch off our information. They will not, they not will be catching straight away and buckles the way. Uh, I'm not sure if I could give a little midget that Buddhist accent that everybody in this game seems to in inexplicably have. <laughs> like, <laughs> The Bacchus and the Bionics must have been on, I mean, must have been born from, uh, England. Exile Fortress. The name, like, Exile Fortress, it just sounds so much cooler than it actually is. What do you mean it sounds cooler than it actually is? It's not cool at all? I don't know. I guess it's a cool place. <laughs> hmm. I'm guessing that you're having a hard time deciding on whether or not it's actually a good, le I mean, a good design place or not. I mean, it's just a big rock fortress in the middle of the marsh. Okay. Yeah. I suppose. Oh yeah. So what's the point of trading with certain NPCs? Do I get do I get good shit if I trade? Um. Yes, I know nothing about trading. <clears throat> You answer yes, and you answer you don't know anything about it. So that doesn't really give me much to go on. <laughs> uh, I like, mean, I, I do know that there's some things you can only get, or almost only get from trading. Who detox blogs and settle on Mars? Hey. I don't know. Have you tried trading yet? No, <laughs> I ain't never traded a damn thing before in my life. Maybe you should try trading. I should try trading. No, it's just my Pokemon, I guess. If these po Let's just use Pokemon logic here and see what happens, huh? I might get like 31 IV something for my NPC. But then you ask yourself, why the hell would this NPC part with a 31 IV guy and... Do you realize uh, there's really no uh, reliable way to tell exact IVs? How many fucking quests do you have for me, you little shit? <laughs> so, Jobs, did you find Eddie? Eddie? All the quests? Yeah, yeah, you must be referring to that Eddie. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, quite a lot of quests that that young man has. And I'm probably going to be streaming till about uh maybe nine nine thirty, around yeah. that time. Yeah, we we got ourselves a pretty lengthy stream going ahead of us tonight. We finally moved past the bullshit mode that has been going on in my house. So, we're, uh, we're, we're in a happy place. You kill some for us. Yeah, more more kill shit. You little... <laughs> Officer, Officer Wolf so fierce, always went to fight. They even get technical. Bokoko chased them away from me. Bokoko, no, no, not easy for Bokoko. Oh, can you kill them for me? Officer Wolf. Finally, you are fucking. Ugh. Anyway, two. Number two is the trade. Let's see what, what we can trade. Select the item you want. Use the item you want from among these offered by the person you are talking to. 
Collect an item to trade. You can handle only trade if you want to hand over an item that is worth more money than the one you want to take. Collect an item you don't mind parting with and agree to trade. Hand over a really valuable item and you might get some kind of bonus. What if I would have hand over the bonus? <laughs> <laughs> I think it only lets you trade materials. Okay. And if you trade a really valuable item, you might get some bonus ducks. Mm. Uh. So what was the value of the item that you're you're trying here? Uh, about four thousand something. All right. So you could give up pretty much anything. Probably something that you have many of and doesn't have a quest thing on it. Something that doesn't have a quest thing on. Like that. Mystery Firefly, yeah, it's about. Okay. Skype's giving me some more connection warnings. What? I don't know what's going on. Oh, bloody s- Alright, so I, uh... I managed to trade. Successful trade, and you got some more shit that I could get. Be steady arms, bunny of scent wood, applying the smoke for this- Thank you, buddy. Right. Uh, physical protect. Ooh. I would like this gem, so... Wait, is that a percentage thing, or...? I believe it is a percentage thing. Okay. Yeah, it seems more percentage-based. Because as we went over, the defense stat in this game is apparently garbage. Uh... Alright, so let's uh go to the Nopon merchant. Let's uh find some shit to sell. All because right. do, do you have any freaking idea? Uh let's see. Yeah, so you can basically just go back a couple pages and sell all your older weapons. Yeah, I, I just organized it by sell price. I mean, you're not going to be using him for anything else. Uh huh. So... Let's make sure Don't that they. Rifle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could. Oh, I so wish I could. The adult's memory will forever be in the hands of a damn roly poly mer no pod merchant. Yep. And then it turns out his soul was in it, they're gonna be like, oh shit, we dug, we fucked up, man, we fucked up bad. Uh, these knives, they were supposed to be for Fiora, but the bitch is dead, so let's sell these off. <laughs> the million driver, we can sell this too. It's occurred to me, they made an entire weapon class. Just well, to trick you. I know, right? This, this, <laughs> that's that's some dedication to game design. <laughs> Did they really think that we were gonna use Fiora for God knows when, knowing damn well she was gonna die the next minute? God damn it!
<sighs> I'm pretty sure you have more than four pages, so does it just start you with four, or...? It, start you, it starts you off, and then I uh, go back and see what else I got, but if I... If, if the pages are empty, then you'll know the pages are empty. It's organized yeah. in a way that you'll know the pages are empty. I mean, I, I went a long way into the game without throwing things away or selling them, so there must be more than four pages. You freaking hoarder! Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, by the time I was I was nearing, you know, the point where I, I could sell stuff, uh -huh. It's like so much of a hassle selling all those things. I kind of wish this game had the Animal Crossing system where you could just select all the items you want to sell and sell them. Oh, well then, yeah. Um, too bad that doesn't happen. I usually just sell it to, let me organize it to sale price. That way I can just start from the cheapest on down. Pretty, I mean, like, pretty straightforward when you do this. Is someone still wearing Colony 9 armor or something? Uh, you... No! They can't possibly be still wearing Colony 9 bullshit! Yeah. It's just I'm looking at where the armor is positioned when you organize it by sales price, and someone seems to be lagging behind all the others. Yeah. I guess I usually just gain, go by the slots or something. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I should check Dunban's equipment, because he did just come from Colony 9. I'm pretty sure it gave him good stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That offer ease of movement. Yeah, like get rid of the colony bottoms. Pulling the shoes. I organized by course. gems instead so let's uh, hold on to that that materials we can we can afford to sell those yeah materials seem to sell for the best The materials are pretty much the only, the only purpose is to be sold. Like, I, I can't really see any other uh, purpose for materials. Well, they're usually in common in quests, but other than that...
Yeah, but I ain't done maybe a hell of a lot of money in a short amount of time. I oh. that, that grinding feeling where I have no money and all the weapons cost like a million gold in this game. It, it mm. always seems like the game supplies you with just what you need. Oh, right, right. I guess I better uh, buy some books for Dunban. Let's try a Gale, a Gale Slash book. Electric Gut Buster book. Did you get the Worldly Slash one? Yeah, let's take a Worldly Slash book. Oh. Those books are expensive. Yes, yes they freaking are, man! Some heavy yeah. reading. Heavy read- oh. Oh. Oh, I guess I, you I, have an extra heal around. Are you able to sell those? I believe I am able to sell it. Something tells me you might not be able to. Well, we'll see. Cause let's let's find out. Boom. Sold. Oh, so you can. I got my money's worth. Continuing journey. Continuing journey where I administer just oh bitch. <laughs> Can't even get in, get back on the bridge. Alright, now back on the bridge and continuing journey where I can administer justice. It's nighttime. Perfect. Watch out for birds. Ain't no bird that can go ahead and, Ain't no bird that can get me. There's no threat. They're gonna, they can't pluck me at all. I'll show them! You know, the, what this game really needed was it needed birds in the subscreen. Birds in the subscreen? Yeah. OH SHIT! What just- <laughs> WHAT THE FUCK IS THAT?! something I don't know <laughs> like try try targeting it see what what it is I know it's a level 83 it's yeah. a level 83 it just teleported in my face <laughs> teleported in my face the little shit it does another one over there mm. <laughs> okay the don't yourself just Stay off the beaten path. Hey, just stay on the path. Don't don't stray. Don't waver. <laughs> just don't stray. Just... So remember how how I said I don't think there's any high level enemies here, and then I took it back. 
Uh, I think those guys got me too. I swear to God, if that stupid dog thing shows up again! That should not be a thing! worse than the bird coming out of nowhere. <laughs> Almost worse. I got spooked. That was fucking scary, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, your reactions make this game great. Yeah, this game is great because of shit like this. <laughs> because of shit like that. You, you never know what you're gonna run into out out on the fields. I, I mean, you have such a big open field to, to explore. It'd be a shame if you ran into something that that's just a little bit stronger than you. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you? Uh. Oh, bitch! You're one of them, aren't you? <laughs> you found a unique monster. Uh, uh. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. There's way too many. Yeah, there's. You're not gonna live. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh shit! Unless... What do you mean, unless why? Maybe if you take off all of Dunban's gear. Pick him off? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm on the- Oh, I'm almost fucking dead. I gotta get out of here. I, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. They are going to annihilate me. They got targeting on me. Why? Why? Oh, why? 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 Is that another doge over there? Yeah. Oh! A There's a bird! Oh! Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Get in my way! Uh, take a path around them? Oh! There might be more on the side or something. Okay. But let's just... Let's just, um... Play safe today. Oh, bitch! There's up there, some shit up there. God! <laughs> yes, you're making it through safely. Eh, there's nothing gonna ambush me. I know it. <laughs> Nothing's just gonna come out of nowhere. That they're gonna ambush me out of nowhere and. Mm. Oh, well, he's just this uh, little lizard man. Little lizard man. Scared to a programming after all of that freaking screaming and panicking over level 80 something monsters. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, I didn't need to follow the path. I know I kind of decided, you know what, let's not go off the beaten path and uh, just try to uh, just try to stay focused. Let the, you know, all the strongest monsters are kind of trying to get in my face. Like that bird! <laughs> okay, cutscene. Finally a cutscene. I can't be gotten a cutscene. I am, this is my plot armor. This lamp, it has a very strange glow. It's a remnant of the High Entia. They've hidden themselves away in the upper reaches now. But at one time, they controlled this whole area. Good for them. It's the perfect place to get some shut eye. The lamp will keep the monsters away. We'll be safe if we rest here. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, the breeze feels so good. It's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. to change it the future <sighs> has it been that long Dixon 14 years since I found you on that mountain seems like yesterday flashbacks flash forwards this sure is cutscene yeah I owe it all to you. If you hadn't found me that day, I wouldn't be here now discovering the world. Forgive me, Shulk. Sorry I couldn't save you folks. Don't be. Now I think about it, that was when I found the Monado as well. This might be crazy talk, but maybe you and the Monado are part of some higher plan. I don't remember much at all, but I know that my mum and dad left me it. The Monado was their final gift to me. At least, that's how I used to think of it. That's why I want to discover its true power and help defeat the Mechon. But so far, I've just been creating piles of Mechon scrap. So you don't just want to study it in a lab after all. This sword. There must be some way. Finally decided to join us, Shulk. Sorry, guys. Didn't sleep a wink. Right then. Time to move on. How far now? We'll be there soon enough. The high end of your ruins are just ahead. Whew. High end of your ruins. Alright. Oh, and now it's daytime. Well, you know, that maybe that means the monsters are actually got have actually gone away. Maybe. Yeah, it seems like you've taken a straight path to the end of the marsh, but... There's a hell of a lot to explore, it seems. Yeah. That's my de next destination over there. I could actually keep heading forward, get some crystal harvest whatnot. Yep, sounds like a plan. Uh, I guess I should go ahead and try to collect a bunch of crystals. 
I probably should. Well, let's see. <clears throat> Thankfully, I don't have to worry about a bunch of uh, deadly monsters trying to bite my head off. Follow me limb from limb. That just happened to be a little bit stronger than me. Well, ah, who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm saying a little bit, but... Alright. You, you, you're a unique monster, aren't you? No, you're not a unique monster, but you need to be taken down. Oh no, I'm dazed! That's not good. And I, uh... Oh, I just picked up another... That's three Rogal Lex, Chris. How did you be able to fix the bridge? And investigate... Investigate the ruins as well. Exciting stuff, all of these. Fix the bridge. I'm trying to think what this could be for. Huh. I have no clue. Um... I... Yeah, I'm not sure if I actually want to explore the rest of this place. Uh, yeah, you want to go through the valley in the water. Eh. So basically, if I go to the higher areas, the peaks and all of that, yeah, that's where all the high-level monsters are going to be, isn't it? Yeah. I just conveniently happen to walk around them. Conveniently. I, yeah, like I, I didn't know I was supposed to take the lower route, but I took it because it looked cooler. I see. This is how I operate. You navigate a place because it looks cool, not because it's safer. Yeah, something like that. Hey, it's one of those things. Hey, just make me a little collection. Wind Nebula, huh? Would I be able to kill it? I'll give it a shot. I'll see if I can kill this wind, wind, wind nebula because I've been seeing a bunch of them uh, around. <laughs> oh, god damn, you little shit! Now remember, you can use Gale Flash followed by Electric Gut Buster. After you use Gale Flash to inflict bleed, you, you want to think a little more about what you use next. Alright, so basically I go Electric Gut Buster, Gale Slash. No, other way around. Gale Flash, Electric Gut Buster. And that resists break, apparently. Okay. Well, oh, but there it was break. I think Dunban's topple might only work after 
the gap onto it, I'll let me. Wow, that did some pretty good damage, actually. Well, at least it good I could uh, deal to a thing like that. I'd actually get this. Oh, come on! <laughs> Little oh, shit! Are such trolls. I'd be so close to killing it, it then it just decides, Hey, let's explode. Uh, I guess I'm running up the river. Whatever kind of river this is. It's ambiguously a river. Wait for it. Wait for it. What do you mean, wait for it? Oh. <laughs> Okay. I was hoping one of those would surprise you. Belzeb oh. go go, huh? Yeah. Ah, you, this is some, uh. Place of judgment, huh? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm running out of here. I don't want one of those stupid things to uh, make short work of me. Oh, I just took some damage even though I jumped in water. But oh, that's fun. Fun. So this place you're approaching is pretty great. Bloodgate, huh? Well, at least I'm able to actually go through it. Hey, it's a giant castle thing! It's a dungeon! Like the entrance to a dungeon in Zelda Classic. Well, no. Can't even say Zelda Classic. Zelda Classic will never have any big as this. Yeah. So, what I really like about this place is that it's a big vertical section in what's otherwise a very flat area. So. And, of course, you can't see the heart to heart. Of course, you're right. I can't. I freaky can't because game likes to inhibit me. The upper regions are through that entrance. You gotta go through Magna Forest first. Prison Island is at the Bionis head, just above Magna Forest. It pains me to say it, but this is the point where I turn back. I must see to the survivors, and I'm also very concerned about Colony 9. I understand. Thank you for everything. I might have said a few things I shouldn't have back in the mine. Forgive me. No, it's okay. I owe you my life, young man. I'll never forget it, heir to the Monado. Medic, will you stay with them? I... I want to help Shulk. The Mekon must pay for what they did. And I'm sure Gado is still alive somewhere. Okay. If he is... So I, I think this him. is the point find him for me too. where you unlock the quest to start Stella? restoring Colony 9. I want to go with Atharon. Are you sure? Uh, the, yeah. Please start doing what? Or Colony 6, sorry. Of the Monado, but oh. I'm just slowing you down. No way, kid. You just need to shape up like me. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Compared to you guys, I know I'm pretty useless. But that's cool. Because I know what I can do. I'm going to go back to the colony and help the survivors rebuild their lives. You'll do us proud, kid. Good luck, Juju. Thanks. Shulk, Ryan, keep Sharla safe for me. So I don't know if you'd rather do that or press on to Magna Forest. Dixon, are you leaving too? The Mekon it's your choice. From oh, no. Now. Well, if it'll give me the quest where I can actually start crafting my gems portably. And they will. 
Colony nine. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I, I remember. I, I looked some stuff up, and I, I think you might need to this ain't the last to go to Magna Forest first. You should be all oh! Right. <laughs> oh! the Monado. I, I on it. recalling we now. Let the colony down. You'll make us proud, Shook. Did the chat break again? What do you mean, did the chat break? Nobody's had anything for a while now. How else are you going to protect Shulk? You know, that's a good question. I'm going to re refresh the stream. Yeah. Just refresh the chat. Like, pop it out and go from there. Like, Can't yeah. Can't say I feel so good about deceiving these kids. Um, What's that you say? Oh, I'm just mumbling. Forget I said anything. Uh, why did Dixon just say, say say something about deceiving kids? Huh? Uh, Dixon just said something about deceiving the kids. Just said that. He just said it. Well, you know, Dixon's got to have his secrets. Oh, I think Dixon's being a dick right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he sure did deceive us by having all of that gear that makes him invincible and not giving it to us. Well, does that, the little selfish ass. Ancient High Anthea coming of age ceremony. Yep, so you came all this way, but you're going to have to explore the marsh anyways. <clears throat> Honestly, though, I think it's better that you went straight for this place and now you can do other quests while doing this story quest and, and going all over the place for the offerings. Yeah. So basically I gotta find a bunch of uh, artifacts or whatever before I can uh, get, I mean, actually access this place. So much for that. Well, I guess let's explore this thing then. Hey, at least there's uh, at least I'm kind of forced to explore the place now. I mean, I I basically was trying to avoid exploring the place because I didn't want to die. I didn't want to get killed by something, something unfortunate. Like a bird? Like a bird. Like a goddamn bird. Wait, 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 I think there's something here. I might need to climb up here, though. Okay, let's go up here and we're gonna see what happens. I know that there's a requirement here. Keep the grab it. I got a white radiant. All right, so it looks like uh, looks like I'm making a little bit of progress already. Yeah. Actually, the things you're collecting might even be close to the. The statues, I forget. Yeah. Um, what oh. the fuck is that? Oh! 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 oh. Yeah, let's not go anywhere near that! Yeah, so I guess they're closer to each other than I remembered. Yeah, 
on going like this, guys. Yeah. Heal a devastating kick. Inflicts break if used after Gale Slash. After Gale Slash, okay. Okay, I was I, I was actually wrong about the Colony Six thing. You you can level it up now, if you wanted. So if I level up Colony Six, then I get the thing. You get the portable uh, ether furnace. Okay. Well, first let's uh, finish off this little main quest. I don't want them to bug me at the moment. Okay, so basically I kind of have to uh, use Gale Slash and I can use either Electric Gut Buster or, uh, or Worldly Slash. It says it lowers my I mean, does it lower the enemy's strength or my strength if I use it at the Gale Slash? Because I don't really get that part. Uh, enemy strength. Okay. I can still get a topple if I can go ahead and uh, use a Gale Slash and a, a Gale Slash, Electric Gut Buster, Gale Strike. Yeah, in fact, you might want to move Gale Strike, or the Gale Slash in between the things it, it synergizes with. <laughs> you remember that? Oh, hey! You can take him. Maybe you can take him. <laughs> oh no, I'm binded! Yeah, see, you've got a Charlie, you can take it. Yeah, shield won't work on that. Try yeah. Speed. There you go. Okay. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> it, 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 no, it worked! Okay, cool. That doesn't always work, but it worked that time. Nice shot. Oh, he gonna hit me. Oh, no. Try warning Charla, maybe? Oh, it won't let you. Uh, no, this one you probably want to use shield. Uh, Why would I use shield in the... Uh, because it's, see, it's snipe shot one. Which means talent art. Hello. Yeah, this is 
gonna be a close one if you do make it out. And that's looking like it might be a no. Oh no! Yeah. My tension oh. is at an all-time high, though. I will fight. <laughs> use some talent arts. Or, uh, you know what I mean. Use use your arts. Hit him. Hit him with everything. I'm using them. I'm using them. Okay, I just brought Starla back. So. Oh, this is totally gonna kill me. Yeah. Come on. Just chip off his last bit of HP, though. Come on. Anything that does. I damage. did it. You did it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was way too close. Oh, and then there's another one coming in for this. Get one through Jimmy's. Sure. You should probably run. Oh, you have to select the run command to actually run. No! Ooh, we must focus our efforts. Gotcha. Huh. Now we're working as one. Elemental cannon ohm. Mm. This is the power of unity, Shala. Ha! I think that's cool. Off. We can rest later. Right. Ha! I'm surprised I killed that unique monster because when the other two decided, hey, can we play too? <laughs> Topple on it. Uh, how can I topple a thing? Uh, uh, that thing! Good question. <laughs> that doesn't look like it can be toppled! Everything can be toppled. Everything can be toppled, huh? I'm, I'm pretty sure everything can be toppled. Eventually, huh? Yeah. Well, hmm. there might be one or two enemies that can't be toppled, but. The, the only thing that couldn't be toppled would be something that's rooted into the ground. Okay. We thought we were done for. Tend to your wounds and prepare for the next battle. I uh, killed a unique monster that just decided. I mean, I didn't think it would be a unique monster, but hey. All oh, right, right, that giant ass thing. Um. I'm not gonna get up that mountain without running here first to that. Okay, Alter of Fate. New location found. We're gonna end up filling out this map looking for these damn things. <gasps> oh, just a detox blog, right? Yeah, I'm guessing you. Do. Yeah, these aren't too bad. What? Well, I just said these aren't too bad. Yeah. Oh, that's actually part of the quest. I need to kill these guys. Oh, 
Oh boy. So what exactly is the break icon supposed to be? I don't know. Katana. I, I finished the quest, so now I can uh, come up here and uh, wait. You know what the break icon is, Jubs? Uh, it, it's two sticks of bubble gum. It's double bubble. You little shit. <laughs> you. So, this giant raven bird thing, huh? You. You it's are. What level is it? Oh, it is. It's level 84. You, you. You! Uh, you could take him. You! <laughs> you, you! Why don't you take him? <laughs> I am trying to not die out here. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, I am trying to not die. <laughs> In those fighting those things as at my current level would be suicide. <laughs> mm. All right, so there's another one of those uh, artifact thingamabobs over there. I said straight for it. Because apparently going on the beaten path that doesn't mean a damn thing, oh bitch. Hey. Something's way over there. Oh, that's the dark swamp. I don't think I could run in there. Uh, you can, you'll just take damage. I'm not taking damage. I, you say to take damage, I get the feeling I'm going to rapidly lose a lot of life, and I'm going to die no, very it's quickly. very slow. Oh. It's very slow mandatory damage. <clears throat> Ow. 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 <clears throat> um... I'm pretty sure you can fight enemies in this swamp water. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Uh, good question. On the other hand, though, I'm pretty sure the, the damage from that is percentage-based. Percentage, huh? Yeah. So if you're at a high level, it will take more, more health. You! You're a unique monster, aren't you? Ah, here we go, balls deep. Oh, you're not- you're not a unique monster. I thought you were- You looked like no. a unique monster. You really look like a unique monster. No, he doesn't have the frame. The flame, you said. Yeah. On the sides of the, the target portrait thing, unique monsters have, like, little squiggly things. Squiggly dinks. Squiggly dinks. Yep. You, you, you. Oh, and there's actually a bird over there. Okay. The, this bird decided to come play. Birds just can't stay away from you, Jobs. I really wish they would! Oh, 
much for Kusu. Yep. Okay. Oh! Look at that. That's a nice treasure thing. That is a big deposit. Oh, but it's earth ether. Make that sound like a bad thing. Well, earth ether is primarily defense stat. So you'll probably get a lot of muscle up crystals. And those aren't worth anything. They're worth everything, though. Ow. Ow. Huh. Where, where, I'm, where I'm going on this giant cliffside that may or may not kill me. Secret area, shiny pond. I don't know what the secret pond is all about, but this huh. nice. Oh, and I just learned a new art apparently for Dunban. Let's see what he got. Serene heart, a peaceful and focused door that increases accuracy and evasion. See what we got here. Yeah, let's go with Serene Hood and see what that's all about. What is Serene Heart? Do I? Serene Heart, it said, uh... Yeah, what's with you, Serene Heart, again? Because I read it and I thought it looked good. Uh, Serene Heart is a P4 focus store that increases accuracy and evasion. That so, seems really good for Dunban. Yeah, that basically sounds like his own little personal Monado speed. Maybe not quite Minato speed, but any oh. evasion he can get is, is good. Oh, you know, I really should not be just diving into this deadly swamp. Smash! Oak smash! Yeah, you got that missing going on. We just killed it. We totally managed to get out of that bad situation. I jumped. I broke my ankles in a deadly swamp. <laughs> oh! Oh, I thought that was just a fucking... <laughs> ah, ah, rah, rah. Don't scare me like that, you bitch! <laughs> How are you liking the swamp, Jack? I'M NOT SURE ANYMORE! Yeah, 
Oh, All right, I completed monster quest. I completed my monster quest. Feeling something punching me in my knees. Y you hear that noise, that pow, pow. It sounded like there was something punching me in my knees while I crossed that swamp. Oh well, let's see. So let's check the map and, uh,. Hmm. Yeah, I need to climb up to the I mean get up to that hill somehow, huh? I I need to get up there. The only way I'm gonna make any I mean make any sort of progress, I'm gonna have to get up that hill. Oh, silent obelisk. Oh. Oh, really? Really, you... I don't know what's that! Stay strong. Help! Giant, uh, giant level, giant level 35! Help! Help! Ah! Ah! <laughs> mm. Getting chased down by the level 30 birdie. Just a couple <laughs> things. I need to get up there though, it chased me off! No, I need to push forward. I have to just say no. I will make it up here, whether you want me to or not. Yeah, mountain full of. Oh! Yeah, let's not. So yeah, the level 30 birdie is over there, on that hill over there. I see it. Alright, I'm seeing it. I'm really seeing it. I'm really seeing it. Oh, is this Exile Fortress that you're at now? I think it is, yeah. Exile Fortress. Well, it still doesn't change the fact that it's somewhere around here. I'm gonna have to go. I mean, I'm gonna have to find a way yeah, to get it's behind Exile Fortress. Behind Exile Fortress. Whoop the fucking do! Not inside it or anything, just behind it. <clears throat> Did I pick up a thing? Five lemon stones. Zazadan. Lemon stones, huh? All right. So, um, just have to make sure I don't get killed. <clears throat> <laughs> I need to stop being afraid of the birds that just decide to swoop down out of nowhere because you never see them coming. I 
did not notice how many birds there were in this in this marsh until you managed to stumble across every single one of them. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. How did you complete that quest? Without running into every single bird. How did you do it? I don't know. I you, have absolutely no idea. You don't freaking I, know. <laughs> I might have had a, a gem that protected me from flying enemies. Protected you from flying enemies, huh? I didn't yeah, even know that I, those... I know that there's uh, like a, a gem that decreases their encounter radius, so I might have put it on one of my party members and forgotten. I didn't even know that that was actual. That was a legitimately actual gem. Yeah. This thing doesn't even really look like a fortress. It's just this a big is... rock. Oh, so this is a exile fort. Huh? Yeah. It's locked. Yeah. Oh! I thought I was gonna die! Oh no, I think I might die. Okay, I didn't die. Yeah, it's not that far a drop. You can jump off the fortress and not die. I I guess! Man, I can't see what the damn out here. So there's got to be a way around that fortress. Might be able to get. Might be able to uh, be on the right path if I just. Oh, Igna territory. I'm not sure if I like this. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Totally gonna inflict topple on the guy. Ooh. This is the woo rock. Here's the movie warm indeed. The hell is a wool rock? You're a unique monster over there, aren't you? I, I can clearly see something tall, scary. Yeah, yeah, you need muscle, you bitch! <laughs> oh yeah, this one's a mean one. I remember he gave me some trouble. Mostly because he has a bunch of enemies all around him. You're the same level as him, though, so you might be able to take him. Oh, remember, he has brakes, so you can topple him. Or not anymore. Oh! 
Okay, he's gonna wombo combo you. What should we do? I'll see to it that doesn't happen. Alright, this will do it. I'm being creative right now! <laughs> huh. That did not work. Why didn't it? Oh, I'm a, I'm still alive somehow, or not. Yeah. Or not. Or freaking not. I guess damage immunity is only partial damage immunity. Yeah. I'm gonna have to kill this guy if I'm gonna get to that treasure. Yep, shield bullet is only partial damage immunity. Really? And at the highest level, it only absorbs like two and a half thousand damage. We can rest later. Oh, we toppled it! You toppled it. Yeah, you got back up. Big combo. How could this be? What should we do? We can change the future. Okay, I think you've got this. We did it! Congratulations. I killed that son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright, and I did the thing. Oh, right, they hit the thing right behind him. Uh huh, that's why I say I'm gonna have to kill him if I'm, go if I'm gonna get that treasure. Ah! Uh, stuck behind him. Stuck behind him, and you just kept fighting him. Yeah, I decided to go bone the. Oh! It's okay, I'm sure you can take them all. Well, I did kill their boss. <laughs> and they don't even know it! Yeah, we focus our efforts. We did it. I killed them all. I killed every single one that was in my way. Was it a misty night? What? I think there's there's a certain enemy that only appears when that mist effect is is out. Certain enemy. Yeah, it might be a level eighty though. I forget. Well, now that you mentioned it, I don't know where it is though. Yeah. Yeah, I was just about to go ahead and do a map walk. Yeah, you should just walk. I was just gonna go ahead and start gem crafting. Because I got a bunch of gems. Bunch Good of idea. gems. Might as well start doing it.
<laughs> hey, you're losing it a bit. Uh, he's going to tell you about the portable gem crafter, I bet. Hello there, youngin. I got something on my end this year. You ever heard of a mobile furnace? Or well, after years of research, it's now possible to shrink furnaces. Shrink them? I reckon I could make you one if I had all the parts. Same, because there's this one part I ain't got. Wait a minute, you can get me it. It's called an ultra small reactor. They developed it in Colony 6. We used it either morning. Only one could be tough after what happened there, though. See here, there's some people looking to fix up Colony 6. The colony can get back on its feet. You might get one there. So I guess ah. there is a hint that you can get the ether furnace from Colony 6. Okay. But I have to go actually go inside Colony Six, so yeah yeah you're gonna have to go the long way around to discover the landmark yep. let's jump now kidding <laughs> Uh. Oh, any wisp, huh? Looks like they got some slightly stronger enemies up here. Only slightly. Yeah. Wait, are you heading back to the marsh, or...? No. I'm gonna like the PDA. Collectopedia.com. Oh boy, an ether defense up. Lead defense. I'm, I'm doing the Collectopedia, man. Yeah, this this gives you a lot of good stuff, so... Nothing wrong in using it. Yep. Achievement, conductor's mentality. Oh, I think I'm heading all the way back, probably. Landmark, Missy Path, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It seems like.
All right, so Colony Six is over that way. That away. Yeah. That's what I meant by if you were going towards the marsh. Yeah, I didn't even know I was going towards the marsh again. All right, so can Colony Six we go? We're going into the back door. I don't know how long it's gonna take to actually help her build Colony Six, but once it's finished, then we can actually uh, take care of that. All right, I'm feeling it. We we got a hell of a lot of progress quite quite done. Oh, heart to hearts up there. Really? Okay then. We can definitely do this. Okay. I didn't think that those things would attack me, but they did. We make a great team. Uh, I guess they thought that it'd be a good idea to uh to be an asshole and oh my god. This guy probably won't be any problem. Once you get like three, five levels above the uh, unique monsters, they're nowhere near as bad. Oh no, I'm dead! Oh wait, did I kill it? Give me back up. I like how the music changes when somebody gets killed. <laughs> I'm not sure what the water deposits are. Ah, finally! I made it to Colony 6! I came- I made it alive!
Vine and Dunban. Okay. So I basically kind of have to have uh, Vine in the party. To increase Infinity and all of that junk. Well then! Oh wow, I uh, totally ended up. Hmm. Wait. What? Hmm. It said Grant R. Cole more Weeboo than me. Wait a minute, who's. Oh, Cole. You mean Mr. Coleslaw? Coleslaw, huh? I'm a. Did he get added to the call? I don't even have him in my, uh. Whatchamacallit, my, uh, list. <laughs> I never added the guy, so, uh. I don't know how. <laughs> how do I remove him? Let's. Uh. When, when did you add Mr. <laughs> Coleslaw, man? When did you add Mr. Coleslaw? Because uh, I noticed something was up. Yeah, he sent me a message on Skype, right? I, I clicked his thing to see the message. It apparently added him to the call. Uh, is, is this the power of new Skype, it seems? This is the power of new Skype. Do I have to... There's gotta be a way to remove him. <laughs> uh... Oh. Well, I'm gonna have to rebuild the bridge. Uh There we go. Hmm. Oh, so I can't even go into Colony 6 because they're too disgusted with what it looks like. Nice. Alright, so... Where's the freaking bridge? Okay, uh, Ragwell Bridge? Uh-huh. Like, above the lake, with, with the lightning frog? Oh, that bridge. Guess we're heading back to that damn bridge, huh? Well, I, uh, I should just, you know, walk through this area just to kind of cover, cover the ground. Cover some ground. We are covering some ground. God, I can't wait till I get my mic. I will sound so much better. I probably won't sound as have to talk as loud either. Yeah. Then again, that's probably going to cut my because of my hearing. Like, nothing else even needs to be said, because my hearing. You're just able to warp to the bridge, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm just covering some ground. 
Okay. Because, uh, you know, not enough ground is covered between the uh, colony and all of that. So I just thought I'd cover a little bit of ground. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I could go ahead and walk to it. Walk to the bridge. Let's see. Yeah, now you're back at where you entered the, the colony from. Yeah, it's at the Bionis Leg. Regular bridge, south. So we're killing everything. Yeah. So. Level 30, hello there. What? Um. Uh, um. 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 Well then. Oh, there's a mech on. So you might have to throw rocks at one of them to draw it away from the rest. How do I draw rocks? Uh, it's one of the commands from the middle. Middle circle. You can't do it when you're already in combat, though. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's just a way to initiate combat from a distance. Okay, you killed one of them. Oh no. Sorry. That'll do. I am done bad. Let's restore vision, yes? I'll sort it out. Oh, looks like Shulk this already used now. speed. Unless that's not the speed icon. That is the speed. He got speed on it already. Alright. Toppled! The second time Dunban, oh yeah, I've let Dunban and his friends die. Yeah, so this time try the rock thing. Target one of the ones in the front and throw a rock at it. See, this makes it so much easier. Yeah! We're just destroying them one by one. Good job, everyone. Let's press on. Let's stay alert. The time is now. Yeah. 
Whoa! Whoa! I almost got knocked off the damn bridge! Yeah, that happened to me once. That was not fun. We can change the future if I just, just kill it. I think I can take on the other two. Might be able to use Modato shield. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely shield that. <laughs> you shatter the vision by killing the enemy. Yeah. Okay, so you've, you've cleared the quest, now you need to go back and talk to Jojo, I think. Have I cleared the quest? It said 6 out of 6, didn't it? Yes. Although, if I remember correctly, uh, it just makes you go back and do it again. For some reason. This is kind of a dumb quest. I'm not <clears throat> uh. Defeat additional monsters. <laughs> yep. That is a thing. definitely want to pick them off one by one. Yep. I'm guessing you are expected to do this after clearing the marsh, being passed partway into, uh, into the jungle. Uh, yeah, I kind of want my uh, gem crafter thingy now. Yeah. I think they come to play. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everybody just decided, hey, can I come play too? <laughs> I think I just got it. At least they're nice enough to put the quest right by the continue point. GDQ is doing Kaizo Mario World soon. Why? <laughs> I'm just gonna kill these guys. I gotta kill more of these unique monsters eventually. Ryan would be any good against these guys. <laughs> I broke the future by killing you with a Monaco Buster. <laughs> I I just decided to Monaco Buster the damn day because he was near dead anyway. That's the best way to change the future. Yep, just finish him off. Got a bit of a topple lock going there for a little while. Uh, and uh, that takes care of that. Can see this isn't pushing you at all. Cool. Let's keep this up. The little rabbits are gone. And now I gotta let Juju know. So let's just instantly warp to where the hell Juju is. I believe he's at the. Uh, Refugee camp. Pretty sure he's there. Oh. Ah, there's Ernest. There's no point in taking his quest, it's just gonna go away anyway. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna trade. 
That works. Gorgeous chest, huh? What could you trade for that? Oh, that's uh, not sure. Huh. Right. Hmm. No, I might as well just say let's go. Yeah. That's just there for completionists who want to do all the Colony 6 quests before. Yeah, yeah excuse me for not being a completionist! <laughs> I'm not that much of a completionist. No jobs. I wonder why that's a timed quest. Is it possible to just not have Colony 6 rebuilt? Wait, that's a timed quest? According to TS, the Kaizo is starting. Oh, Kaizo's starting. Oh yeah. Well, in that case, I think I, I think we can go ahead and end the stream here, then, huh? Uh, but looking at AGDQ, it looks like it's just Mario World. Oh, I thought it was Kaizo yeah. Mario. You were looking forward to that, yada yada. Well, let's just end it at ten, you know. All right. Or eleven here. Alright, so it looks like I need to grab the ingredients. Two Uratus, two Verdurians, and a serious anime. Right. So try talking to Juju. What the heck is Juju? Oh, that's Juju. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yep. <laughs> Housing decreases the population unless you invite more people to the colony. Commerce makes these stocks open. You obtain higher rank crystal from the mine. Greatly increases the overall completion percentage of the list or collectible. All right. So if you select reconstruct, I think you might be able to afford some of these things already. <laughs> no, it looks like you can't. Okay. Oh my god! You probably sold some of the things, I'll bet. No, I only sold- I mean, I never sold it all away. I just sold off just enough to where I think- I mean, you know, I can just have, uh, have some left over. I never sold it all off! Right. That wasn't the intent! So some of those items you can find in the Tefra cave? Tefra, huh? Yeah. Uh, some of them you can find in the Satoral Marsh, some of them you can find here in the Violence Leg area. And one of them you need to kill some of the rain elementals during a storm. Mm. 
So that, been, that's the real annoying one, getting the, the light rain element. I've been trying to kill the rain element, but they could blow up in my face. But I can you really... can probably kill them now, now that you vastly overlevel them. What about the ones that were in the Mars? No, you, you gotta kill the ones on the leg. The lower level ones. Hey, alright. At least collecting some things, I guess. There any missable heart to hearts? Missable heart to hearts, not that I know of. Fantastic, because I I don't see myself doing any of these heart to hearts anytime soon. Yeah. Do you want to just return to the statue at Toro Marsh? Yep. I'm and, good. Yeah. We'll go to the fly. To, yeah, just a little bit. Uh, let's open the overall map. You can maybe see a little bit of the Machna Forest before ending the stream. Actually, I just remembered something. <laughs> what? Uh, what? You you get one last bird to end it all off. Um, pardon? You, you'll see. You you say one last bird? You'll see. Uh oh okay. <laughs> this guy's not too bad. You have the levels to take him. We can definitely do this. Alright, everybody, tension is uh, at a pretty good, uh, pretty good level. You want to try a chain attack? Oh yeah. Backslash sounds good. Yep. Uh -huh. 
Oh well. Yeah, I thought it would cycle around again. It's dead! A bitch. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cool. That little bitch. He didn't even have to show up. That little son of a bitch ain't had to show. Well, you beat the final bird. It was the king of all birds, and now no more birds will show up on the rest of your journey. I'm I will. Sure. You know, you know, you lying piece of shit. <laughs> you lying. Uh, uh, I, I now need to make a dungeon that's full of birds just for you. Mm. <laughs> huh? The lift don't work. Looks like it's been broken for a while. We'll have to find another way up. Another way? You don't mean climb up there. We may have to. Come on. You can't be serious. Why'd someone build a lift that don't work? No complaining. Let's start looking for a place we can climb up. Okay, they just finished Mario World on AGDQ. Alright. So, uh... So this, this looks like a good place to cut the stream. And then we get cool statue climbing next time. Yep. We'll set you climbing. Let's save our progress. Okay. And with that, everyone, thank you for watching the stream. It'll be your boy Jebs and Moose signing off. We're gonna watch AGDQ. AGDQ! AGD, woo, woo.